be the image you put out to the world attracts the wrong kind of guy. I've heard that. Oh my god, this is like therapy now. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god so deep. You are like a dad, even though you're only 34. You're like a 45 I am year a old dad. dad. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I kind of like love you now, actually. I'm sorry. You're not the worst. I actually, oh my God, I kind of like love you. You make me want to cry. Like, I honestly feel like crying. But you've thought about that before. Well, because, like, you're asking me questions about me and my relationships. I mean, <laughs> I'm, like, literally going to cry. Well, I'm curious why you hate straight men. I mean, there's clearly a reason. You you're know? so sweet. I just, like, love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, so <laughs> I find it interesting that just some um, like basic interest in your in you as a person can react such an emotional response. It's so weird. I'm so sorry. I'm like fucking on the drugs. I'm so This is so nice. I like really love you. Wow. Okay. Okay. infamous love triangle. We are finally here, ready to take a deep dive into the drama of frenemies. The thing about love triangles is that it's not really about love. It's really about control. Trisha wanting control of Ethan, and the only way to do that was to get control of Moses. Moses, for his own reasons, wanted to control Ethan. And then, he saw a way of controlling Ethan by getting with Trisha. And Ethan, sitting right on top of this triangle right here, wanted control of his podcast. And slowly, it was slipping away. Let's see how this love triangle, aka jockeying for power, really ended up. No. I'm very impressed with um like I am impressed that we make money off this like it's crazy because I like don't make money off my YouTube so it's crazy no I feel honored to be on here for thank you. sometimes I feel bad though like Why? I don't know I feel like I kind of like snuck into this situation a little bit do you think I have no agency over my life a little bit because like I started like I thought like dating like the first date with Moses I was like oh this will get me like more airtime on h3 podcast Oh, it was that calculated? Yeah, but at the beginning, like, I literally tell him all the time, I'm like, I, like, like the reason we got back together after that big fight at the catfish, I was like, oh, I had the podcast, and I felt like I kind of was because, like, I started dating him, you know what it I mean? It has nothing, trust me, nothing That's, I, I do. I don't think he would have. I don't think he would have had the podcast if I wasn't dating Moses. <sighs> Because when the, when the when so quarantine dumb. hit, you guys stopped talking to me. When we weren't filming H three anymore, the Bachelorette, like I never heard from Dude, you guys. Dude, it had nothing to do. So with I it. never heard from you guys. And then the next, the first time I hear from I you, I was brainstorming. You, you want to know? What? I was brainstorming. I think I was in your mind. Whatever. As frequently as I'll I never was. never convince you. Trisha is emotionally intelligent, and someone who is emotionally intelligent has the ability to understand the feelings of others. Now, emotional intelligence involves four things: the ability to perceive emotions. The ability to reason with emotions. The ability to understand emotions. And the ability to manage emotions. It's my theory that Trisha knows how to do all these things. And this is what she uses to get her way to control others. And they don't even realize that's what she's doing because, ha, huh, she's a ditzy blonde. She would play that character so much. And when she hits you with that switch, you don't even see it coming. You're already caught in her loop. Now, Trisha went on Impulsive September 2019 after her breakup with Jason Nash. And a little bit of back history. Logan had a tiny bit of tension with David Dobrik. A couple of months prior, he invited David and the vlog squad to his house for a party. I have security cameras everywhere in my house. Yeah. So I went on and I looked uh, at, this, at the time when David, Corinna, and Jeff were on... Um, on the studio, Same. I could hear what they were saying. Okay. They made a suicide forest joke. One, one of them, one of them, uh, Jeff was actually it was caught on camera. Someone like Instagram him, and he was like making fun of me and my my mistakes and my controversy. Jeff was fucking good, bro. Then then you text me the next day and you want to say you want to go running at Runyon Canyon or or you want to box sometime. Like please, please come over and we can handle this like fucking men instead of coming on at my house on my podcast and talking shit. David, shut the fuck up, dude. For real, like time to move on. Uh, we get it. You're hot shit now. But I think I can speak for everyone who knows you. If you keep this attitude up, your time is coming. I was there, dude. 
I was fucking there. So ease up, Tiger. Ease the fuck up. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> jokes is jokes. Jokes is jokes. I mean, that's it. to a lot of people in this industry, that whole thing's a joke. Yeah, it's at Logan's expense, but people joke about it all the time. Wait, wait, wait. Eh. Why I don't think it was a joke is because David and I aren't like this. Yo, what's good, man? Tight, good to see you. We used to be, Adam but now, that. but now he can't, he comes to my house, my party. Uh, my cameraman goes to film him. Jeff steps in front of my cameraman. Like it was so blatantly obvious that they were trying to avoid being captured by us. And I, I'm just sitting here confused. Like, yo, did you come here to get some bit for your vlog? So that controversy was over. Trisha was on the podcast and you know what the podcast was going pretty pretty good it was very entertaining and we got to this one moment at the end we're gonna pick this one scene apart just to see how trisha can manipulate people logan flashes pictures of people on the big screen behind trisha and she's supposed to look and whoever picture she sees on the screen she has to say something about Back to it. Here we wow. go. I'm tripping. Uh, I feel like we covered this already, but here we go. Yeah. Uh -oh. I feel like I'm fucking, huh? <laughs> uh, you, you know, you, I mean, we already, you already said some stuff. Look, I, mean, I like Jason. I like Jason. He now, right away, Logan declares how much he likes Jason. Trisha hates that. There was a point in the H3 podcast where Ethan took Trisha's side, and she was so happy about it. His boyfriend fat shamed me all the time. That's what was a big issue. I literally made a video called like my boyfriend fat well, shamed me. Well, why would he? I mean, like, why would he start dating you if he thought if he had yeah. an exactly. dating? Exactly. There's videos of him being like, um, how many nuggets are you eating? Um, what? Like, there's a whole thing of him. I don't think he cared. I don't think he didn't care about you being fat. I think he just liked demeaning you. Mm. I think you're right. That's the issue right there. And fuck that guy. Weirdo. Yeah, Jason Ash. <laughs> oh, that's Jason. Oh, Jason was shaming <laughs> for eating nuggies? <laughs> but you said it. You said fuck that guy, so. Well, him. yeah, if he said, if he was. He did. Sick. There's a whole bunch of videos. Look that up. There's a whole bunch of videos of him, like, making fun of how what I eat and how I eat. I mean, he's, <laughs> I don't know him at all. I have no problem with him. Should I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I do now. <gasps> yes! Is he your mortal enemy? Oh my right. god. Right. Song, song is near. So now her ex face is flash on screen and Logan Paul says he likes Jason. All right, Trisha, what are you going to do with that? If Jason called you right now, babe, I'm sorry. Take me back. <laughs> oh yeah, would you do fucking that? Fucking never. Don't believe See, it. What a fucking little pussy to break up with me because David Dobrik tells you to. That's why. Because can I tell you, after we broke up, he was sneaking me into his house for like three months and telling me to park my car for like five blocks away. Yep. That's why I would believe that if he called you at this point, Trisha, you would have went back to him. Because if you're willing to park down the road and sneak into his house so his friends wouldn't see you, that's very embarrassing. And you are willing to do that? Then yeah, if he called you right then, you would have went back to him because you already, <laughs> you already like debased yourself for him. I've been, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. Why? That's fucking a pussy yeah. move. Why nope. you do that shit? No, because you, Why? you want to hook up with your girl, which your boys don't support. Now, here's the thing. Right here, Logan was training to be a boxer. He's filled with all this muscle and testosterone. And he's actually going to sit there and say, yeah, if my friends don't like my girlfriend, I would sneak her in. And Trisha is rightfully calling him out on that. Because for Trisha, the ditzy blonde, to say to Logan that he is less of a man for not standing up for who he is in a relationship with. Boys don't support. So us. fucking grow some balls and nah, be like, nah, this nah, is bro. He has an ego. Logan Paul has an ego. And right now, Trisha is bruising his ego. This big man right here, Trisha is calling him out his name. And guess what? She's right about it. And you know what? Logan knows she's right about it. For whatever reason, well, we'll find out after, he's doubling down on, yeah, that's what he would do. He's afraid of his friends. He's really that insecure that he'll let his friends control who he's dating or not. Nah. Why are the you problem scared? Is, no, the are you scared? Look, Trisha is taunting him. Are you scared? Are you scared? Look at this girl with heels and makeup on talking to this big man saying, are you scared? Trust me, Logan's not even aware, but she's picking away at him. Because you know what? That was the wrong stance for him to take and she's picking at it. But she's picking at it through his emotions. What are you scared? Are you scared? You let your friends tell you what to do. You're scared. Trisha doesn't stop there, y'all. She goes for it. Problem is I have balls. That's the problem. No, if you do that, you don't have balls. 
you see there logan is doubling down trisha is right but he's got himself in a corner it's like he can't even admit that she's right he has a bad take and he's willing to let himself look like a punk <laughs> because again he's afraid what his friends think and trisha is not letting him off the hook even though he's resisting she's not letting him off the hook she's continuing to tell him how small of a man he really is you're scared of what your friends are saying about you? Hell yeah, yeah bro. Fun. Some judgmental people. Hold and on if they a second. Disappro- Yo! If they nah. disapprove of who I'm hooking up with and I still want to hook up with that person, bro, I'm black. Ew, you're, Yo, you're, you're parking. You're parking on. No. You ain't parking on. By the way, don't. Can we blur those yeah. streets? And see now, Logan is now trying to make it funny. Like, it's a joke, right? Like, this is what we're doing. Like, let's laugh about it. Nope, Trisha's not letting you off the hook. Trisha's not treating this as a joke. You want to turn it into a joke now? Nope, it's not funny. Trisha don't like you. You just said that you like Jason. It's on. It's on between you and Trisha. You're a bigger (laughs) pussy than Jason then. Because you know why? You're the one who makes the money and is running this whole ship. And you're still a bigger pussy than Jason. Oh, listen to this. You see his expression? Trisha's right. At least you can say David is the one making the money, so Jason has to do what David says. Let's just say David said, Jason, do not date you. Let's just say that was even true. You could give Jason some slack to say, okay, David's my meal ticket. The show is called Impulsive, Logan. I see your name right behind you on your podcast, and you're sitting there saying you care what your friends think. You pay these people. Why do you care what they think? They should be caring what you think. Trisha is beeping, bobbing, Trisha is laying it on thick and she's not letting you off and you know she's right. You know she's right, but you're stuck in a hole. And again, it's because of your ego. She is bruising your ego and you cannot handle it and she's going to continue because she knew right where to get you. So okay. don't, but also don't Shave drag it. me into it because remember what? this. I actually Ew, Logan's drop fucking you off at the house. Yeah, I've done it. Don't you lie. I've dropped you off. I'm all for it, dude. Yeah, you. Look at Logan's face all coming down on him right now because he knows this thing is broadcasted to millions of people and he's sitting there thinking like what did i just say what did i just say i just made myself look so insecure look so so small in front of my entire audience i just told people as a grown man that i care what my friends think if they don't like the girl i'm dating hello darkness my old friend yeah that's exactly what she did logan she made you stand in it and now you realize, oh, snap, what just happened? Return the car home with no gas. Too. I'm not going to lie. Fuck, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, so I just, I, I lied there too. I'm lying a lot on this podcast. Yeah. My love for Jason, pretty much like I'm trying to back up Jason because I love Jason. And here we go. Here's the whole we wine, we wine. He's saying right now, oh, okay. The truth is, I really don't have that opinion. It's just that I love Jason so much. I'm willing to make myself look like a punk for Jason. And before he said he likes Jason, now he's he loves Jason. Why do you love Jason so much that you're willing to let yourself look like a fool on your own podcast by Trisha, no less, because you love Jason? Like, what is there to love about Jason? Is Jason your long lost brother? Like, why do you love Jason so much that you're willing to go to bat for him that hard because he has an ex-girlfriend? You guys are just friends in Hollywood that maybe once in a while collaborate on videos. Like, when you think of Jason's friends, you don't think, oh, David and Logan. No, you start naming the people on the vlog squad. So why is it, Logan, you're like, oh, he is such my friend. I'm going to have this horrible take just because I love Jason so much. <laughs> you really messed up. Now Trisha's going to give you the TKO. I, I you love, being- love him. Even his friend, whatever that guy's name is, even his friend is like, you love him? Like, where did that come from? Because he knows he has to say he loved him because there's no way you would have that take. Tell your girlfriend to park down the street because you're afraid of what your friends would think. Because you love Jason, you just wanted to lie for Jason. It didn't make any sense. His friend called him out on it. Like, you love Jason? Like, Jason made you say something that foolish? I love it. I do. I love you. They don't love you. Ooh, and that's the nail in the coffin. Look at Trisha's face. Trisha was like, got him, got him. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. slipper has fallen. You said one day Mike's going to eat his words about Keem. That's going to be you about Jason and David. Wait, hold on. Ooh. And this is, Logan, this is the people you stuck your, your neck out for. You stuck your neck out for Jason. 
Now, who knows what she's saying is true or not. The fact is, she was Jason's ex-girlfriend, did hang around the vlog squad, so it would be in reason that she is telling the truth. But really, she doesn't even have to be telling the truth. But what she said right there was such an ego bruise to Logan. Wow, I, what are they I, saying? I, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Oh, hold I'm on. talking about Jason right now. Okay. And you said they. I'm talking about Jason. He's, Can you tell me Jason Nash doesn't like me? His lips are to David's ass, so whatever David says, Jason does too. She's doubling down, y'all. She is doubling down. Logan, you thought you can say to her, you're telling me that Jason doesn't like me and that she's going to say, well, yeah, she, okay, he does like, no. She is going to tell you he does not like you. Does that hurt your feelings, Logan? Are you sad now? Yeah, that's what she wanted to do because you crossed her, all right? You crossed her, so she's going to cross you. So it's like Jason a human, Nash, human, human centipede. centipede. Human centipede <laughs> action. A bullshit. Oh. I'm talking about Jason. <laughs> Have you ever asked any of them to be on this podcast? Yes. And what do they say? Yes. Who said yes? Jeff. Jeff. The one that they tried to kill the other day. Do they really care about? Jeff wasn't even, Jeff was just like a recent addition to the crew at that point. So yeah, okay. Jeff was on your podcast. Jeff was on this podcast. Jeff with tech. And wasn't one of them? Je uh, Josh? Yeah, Josh Peck. Oh, Josh Peck came and on. He yeah, got heat for that. Oh. From, from the group? So Oh, Trisha called you out. Trisha called it. Trisha called it. He got heat for that. You got that Josh on your show. And that was it. After Josh, you didn't get nobody else. Nobody else is on your show. Not the main vlog squad. They can't control Jeff. Jeff does what he wants, really. They can tell Jeff, don't go here, don't go there. But David put the kibosh. What are you hearing from the group behind the scenes? Come on, spill the tea. There's, Let's I mean, get it. All I know is, like, they're like, don't go on Logan's. They don't want to be associated with you guys. That gotta hurt. Trisha just sliced and diced you and fed your leftovers to the sharks. So now... Logan is going to try to rationalize why Trisha just said the vlog squad does not want to hang out with him. He's going to rationalize it right now because that's how bad his ego is hurting. He's going to make in his mind, well, why they aren't hanging out with me? It can't be because they don't like me because obviously they must love me. It must be a different reason. Okay. Yeah, but let's be well, honest. That makes sense. That's because we're popping well, no, over here. No, 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 no. That <laughs> makes sense. I am ex-controversial. I get it. It's like a... <sighs> It's like a, it's like a... Listen, what Logan says right now does not make any sense. I'll let it play out. I don't know what he's saying. His mind will explode if he can't rationalize why people don't like him in his head. So just listen to what he's saying because it does not make any sense whatsoever. It's a car. You just bought a brand new car. The problem is the car's not brand new like I just said. It's from 1991. It's brand new to you. It's got a little rust on it, right? That's me. I'm the brand new car. I got a little rust on me. I got some 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 dark energy around me still, especially in Hollywood. Like I'm a, I'm a bit feared. You're not feared, Logan. You're not feared. You thought it was cool to take video of a dead person and upload it onto your YouTube channel. People don't fear you. People realize you have no sense. That's not fair. They're like, oh, this guy, he really does not have any sense. You know people who have like nothing to lose or they act like they have nothing to lose and you know you have stuff to lose? Do not hang out with friends who have nothing to lose because they will drag you down with them. And so if the vlog squad at that point saw that Logan had no sense, yeah, it's a smart move not to hang out with him. <laughs> and it's kind of just funny because fast forward two years and David is going to be in a similar circumstance. I'm a bit, I'm, I'm that arm's length person. Yo, we like Logan. We like his content. We can respect what he's doing. We like Logan. We like his content. We respect him. That's all stuff Logan just made up in his head. Trisha just said, they don't like you. That means they don't like your content. They don't respect you. They have nothing good to say about you. They went into your house and they talk crap about you. You saw that. So if that doesn't really just make what Trisha said make more sense. Oh my goodness. This was so embarrassing. So so embarrassing, Logan. But if we're seen with him right now, they're on a great, they're on a golden road right now. Mm. And and to 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 yeah. fuck any of that up to come on this podcast, my mind doesn't make sense. So, so he, I, but he can so come I have to your no, house and chill with you and be cool. But he's I like, thought I that was weird. Yeah. I, I, know. Yeah, I was just about to say they've already that's, been on the podcast. By the way, yeah. they just did it without Logan Paul on it. That's a big <laughs> ass move. Like, just walk oh, it off. We can go to like Logan's walk house and stuff like that and be cool, but like not. So that's fucked up. That's I thought that was shit, weird. So fuck that. Oh, look at that. Logan have to give it to her. Logan tapped out. The referee grabbed his hand and his hand fell on the mat. <laughs> 
these two, David and Logan, they're similar-ish ages. They're in the same industry. They live around each other. It would make sense that they're competitive and there may be jealousy here and there. But all of this is just to show how Trisha can use that emotion and how she can play with it and twist it to her benefit. At that end of this clip, Logan is giving it to Trisha that, yeah, Trisha, what you're saying makes sense because it does. And she just sat there and laid it all out. And this is just to show you that she does it again with Moses and Ethan. Because if I can pick up the jealousy that Moses has for Ethan, if I can pick that up on screen, there's no way that Trisha doesn't pick that up. And the same way she can play with people's emotion here is the same way she can play with their emotions on frenemies. And like all of this now, you can say, hey, I'm reaching, I'm speculating. What does impulsive have to do with frenemies? Don't worry. I'm going to show you right now. Probably that. And then what else are you getting done? My stomach lipo, because my body's more like in now, so I want my waist to go a little more in, and then I'm gonna have it transferred to my butt, so my butt's just a little more round. I, oh, should I show you the before and afters? I, oh, should I show you the before and afters? Okay. 